Hi everyone, Dr. Susan Brown at Alkaline for Life. Winter is always a time when we think about boosting our immunity. There's all these flus, all these colds, all these health challenges. This year, as we enter 2020, it's even more important with the surge into this coronavirus in China, really almost taking pan epidemic proportions with 100 people already dying in China due to this new flu. So I thought I'd give you some of my tips, some four quick tips about how we here at the Center for Better Bones try to boost immunity. You always want to take care with your diet. You want to rest enough. You want to exercise. But the four nutrients I would use and I use personally to boost immunity, fully buffered ascorbate, vitamin D, magnesium, and quercetin with pomegranate. The first nutrient, of course, is the vitamin C. And we always use a fully buffered, fully reduced, highly potent vitamin C. Vitamin C is the major, one of the major antioxidants. And there's thousands of studies showing how vitamin C enhances immune function and functioning in many different ways. Vitamin C we always use. The important thing is to take vitamin C throughout the day because it has a relatively short half-life. Here at the Center for Better Bones, we start with maybe 4,000 milligrams of vitamin C spread out throughout the day, which is the equivalent of a half a teaspoon of this powder three times a day. You always must take it throughout the day. And if a person has a real great health, health challenge, then you might say, okay, let's do vitamin C to bowel tolerance, which was discussed by Dr. Cathcart, developed by Cathcart in 1970. And we'll have some links to his work on that. Vitamin C is, the effect of vitamin C is dose dependent. You must take enough for your particular problem. Great place to start is with 4,000 milligrams a day. Some colds, even common colds can take many, many, much more times that. And you can read that in Cathcart's article. Vitamin C, the next nutrient of course is vitamin D. Again, there are hundreds of studies showing how vitamin D boosts immunity. It affects 100 genes. It helps genes that come to develop antiviral agents in the body, very well documented to boost immunity. One of my friends, Dr. Connell, who runs Grassroots Health, he has found that people taking four or 5,000 units of vitamin D have much less colds and influenzas. And this has been studied quite well around the world. Vitamin D is a second nutrient. You can take it just once a day. 4,000 units is what the U.S. government has considered the upper safe limit. Everyone can do that. Certainly the best thing is to go have your vitamin D tested at from with your local physician and strive to get a 50 to 60 NG level for best viral protection. If you can't do that, you might start out with 2,000 units or 4,000 units and then ask to be tested. So we've got the fully buffered ascorbate. We've got the vitamin D. And we also have, again, magnesium, one of my favorite nutrients that is the most common molecule, perhaps in every cell, really is essential to the energetics of the cell and also very important to immunity. Plus, it's really one of the vastly deficient nutrients in this country. With food processing, we've really reduced our magnesium intake. I suggest anywhere between 500 and 1,000 milligrams of magnesium right along with vitamin D and the vitamin C. And then of course, there are these plant flavonoids. Quercetin is our favorite. Quercetin is a very effective antihistamine, anti-allergy, antioxidant, which is also shown to be effective boosting immunity. We like to use a quercetin that's mixed with pomegranate because the research shows if you mix two of these flavonoid compounds together, you'll get a better impact. Stay well, stay strong. We'll talk to you later.